Welcome to the Brain Bank Listen and Learn series. I'm Michelle Paulina. Our topic today is switchgear lubricant, and with me by phone is Jim Collins, Business Development Manager for Energy Markets at CRC. Thanks for being with us, Jim. Thanks for having me. Jim, describe what kind of equipment this product is typically used on. Well, there are two main applications. Switch gear or distribution disconnect switches of all kinds and types, and then metering, meaning all types of the new AMI or AMR plug-in systems, including those smart meter programs. When faults occur in the line or maintenance is needed on the switch or on the meter, these products should pretty quickly or safely open. They can reroute power. They can disconnect the circuit. And utility crews then use that to make needed repairs down the line elsewhere, or a meter can be pulled out for service. And we do that with the right kind of lubrication. Why did CRC come up with this product? Was there a specific need in the marketplace? Well, several utilities came to us with a common problem. They were operating ganged switches and open blade switches, which should normally operate quickly and easily, whether it was done manually or using a motor operator. But they found that those switches often were stiff or the blades were even locked together. That causes dangerous extra work extra time required to free or open up the switches. Either no lubrication had ever been applied to those contacts, those blades, or a variety of products, a variety of greases were applied in the field, and that had undesirable properties over time in service. So we developed a product that when applied would provide not only contact penetration to allow switches to work going forward, but also provided long-term lubrication and some corrosion protection for further use. Can you elaborate a little further on why contacts need to be lubricated? Right. Lubrication on a switch allows the contact surfaces under pressure against each other, but it allows them to move against each other while maintaining circuit integrity. Until in a utility high-voltage switch, that blade has to open in a very certain controlled manner until line break, the point of line break and arc is safely achieved. Otherwise, a blade switch can jerk, it can stick, it, it can even break causing arcing or what we call faults. In meters, it allows easier insertion into base clips and long-lasting protection of that meter junction. Is environment the culprit? Really, what's in the environment as particulate contamination is the culprit. Whether it's deposited on dry switch blades or absorbed into poorly greased blades with an abundance of grease that's now drying out, that's, that's an environmental contaminant that then goes through an environment of freeze, thaw, wet, dry, hot, cold. With all the contaminants built up on the blades of that switch, the problem becomes self-evident. How does this maintenance relate to safety? Well, depending on the fault type on the line, the type of switch action, the type of switch motion can either sectionalize, which isolates or diverts or controls a circuit, or just cut a circuit off. The longer this takes, the more unsafe it is to reroute that power to cut off the power. And it contributes to line crew risk and time on the call. What makes this product preferable or recommended over standard greases or lubricants? It is purpose designed, first of all, for the utility business to penetrate and lubricate critical switch contact surfaces. Crews can quickly and safely operate a switch or they can install a meter. It is non-flammable, it does not harden, it does not dry, freeze, or melt due to temperature fluctuations. It maintains its performance year-round. It goes on as an aerosol, whereas many greases, in fact all greases I know of, are applied by hand. It goes on as an aerosol with a hot stick spray adapter. It doesn't run, and yet it sets up to a light gel format with a 28,000 volt dielectric rating. It doesn't readily attract atmospheric particulates, and it doesn't attract moisture. How often should high-voltage switches be treated, and what is the typical method for treatment? Okay, well, we sure recommend that high-voltage switches be treated within an existing maintenance program that's installed at many utilities. We recommend that that program initially target each switch and contact that can be checked for previous buildup of old grease and then clean those switches to expose the blades of the contact edges. Then we would recommend generously applying switchgear lubricant to allow that product to penetrate, lubricate, and inhibit corrosion. Meter bases only need a small amount for the male taps before insertion, and you would reapply switchgear lube each time a switch operates, if desired, to re-lubricate those contact surfaces that have just been actuated. Does this apply to both underground and overhead equipment? Absolutely. It applies to any relay, switch, disconnect system, 
It can also be used on the meter tabs and any electrical equipment, really, that has exposed terminals. In what configurations is CRC's product available, and where can a customer get it? The product comes in an aerosol can with a power jet nozzle, which extends the range it can be applied. That can also has an MSDL on each can, which is the material safety data sheet on the back of the label to ensure the MSDS is readily available on site in an emergency situation. CRC is the only company to offer this benefit. CRC high voltage switch gear lubricant is available at your preferred local CRC distributor. Jim, can it be applied with a hot stick? Yes, there is a special hot stick adapter, and in most applications, that's the way that line crew prefer to do it. It can also be applied directly if we're working in a non-energized or bench environment. Is there anything that we've missed or anything you'd like to reemphasize? Well, we'd like to point out again that CRC's high voltage switchgear lube was purpose designed to address specific utility needs with direct utility customer engagement, specifications, crew beta testing, and customer field use for approval. Benefits to utilities include for line crews is it's easy to apply using the power jet nozzle. For engineering and ops, we've got a high performance solution that is a reliable switch control. And for safety, we've got the unique MSDL on each can. Now for a wide variety of cutout switches, the sectionalizers, GOAB types, meter bases and more, high performance lubrication for on-demand switch operations, and those meter connections is improved with CRC's high voltage switch gear lubricant. Jim, where can our listeners go to get more information about this topic? Well, we encourage customers to visit our website at crcindustries.com slash EI and enter part number 02060, that's 02060, in the search box or call our technical hotline at 1-800-521-3168. This is great information, Jim. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you very much for your time. And thank you for joining us for today's Brain Bank Listen and Learn series. We'll see you next time.